afternoon everyone, my name is Mark and M. Esperon, taking up Bachelor in Science in Civil Engineering. Today, I am here to discuss about the intellectual evolution that defines society, Darwinians. Was there a Darwinian revolution? In 1859, there was a groundbreaking revolution in both the scientific and religious realms, the origin of species authored by Charles Darwin was published. The book changed how people approach biology forever and has fundamental impact on modern science, religion, and the other aspects of the society. Who is Charles Darwin? Charles Robert Darwin was an English naturalist, geologist, and biologist, best known for his contribution to the science of evolution. He is the father of the theory of evolution. He is published on the origin of species after his voyage on the HMS Beagle. What is evolution? Evolution is change in the heritable characteristics of biological population over success generations. Evolutionary processes give rise to biodiversity at every level of biological organizations and molecules. Repeated formation of new species or speciation, change within species or anagenesis, and loss of species or extinction throughout the evolutionary history of life on Earth are demonstrated by shared sets of morphological and biochemical traits, including shared DNA sequence. In biological, evolution is the change in the characteristics of species over several generations and rely on the process of natural selection. The Abstract of the Arminian Revolution In 1859, there was a groundbreaking revolution in both the scientific and religious realms. The Origin of Species, authored by Charles Darwin, was published. The book changed how people approach biology forever and has fundamental impact on modern science, religion, and other aspects of the society. The Darwinian Revolution remains an acceptable phrase to describe the change in thought brought about by the scene as occurring over an extended period of time. The decades from the 1790s through the 1850s are the focus of this article. At the time when Origin of Species was published, the theories did not immediately gain popularity. As Prof. Brown put it, it was not a revolution, but rather a slow change. Stretched over the course of century Darwinian's opinions, as they start to gain popularity, were very much challenged. Despite his great achievements, Darwin is still a person with unique personalities, and by revisiting his wife we could unveil how his thought came to be, and how his theory of evolution is sparked. Living in a very private, remote state, Darwin had a wealthy heritage which provided him with ample time and financial support to pursue his interests. Because of his remote location, most of the communication with his scientific colleagues are achieved through mails and this large amount of correspondence leaves us with a rather streamlined through process of his theory took its shape. Charles Darwin was the major player in the change, although one must quality the nature and the extent of historical context that just as an immediate event, and the revolution was complex, and we need the insights of rather different philosophies of scientific change to capture the whole phenomenon. In some respects, indeed, the process of analysis is still ongoing and unresolved. The picture illustrates the origin of species by Charles Darwin. Darwin's Theory of Evolution Darwinism is a theory of biological evolution developed by English naturalist Charles Darwin. 
1809 to 1882, and others, stating that all species of organisms arise and develop through the natural selection of small inherited variations that increase the individual's ability to compete, survive, and reproduce. Also called Darwinism theory, it originally included the broad concept of transmutation of species in 1859, including concepts which predated Darwin's theory. English biologist of Thomas Henry Huxley coined the term Darwinism in April 1860. Since its publication in 1859 on the origin of species has been closely studied by generations of biologists, many scientists have categorized Darwin's theories. Standing tall among these scientists, Ernest Mayer divided Darwin's theory into five unique parts. Darwin's theory of evolution, also called Darwinism, can be further divided into five parts. The first one is the evolution as such, the second, common descent, the third, gradualism, the fourth is the population speciation, and the last is natural selection. The first, evolution as such. As we saw in the section of Lamarck, the very idea that evolution occur was much debated. Along with Buffon and Lamarck, Darwin supported the ability of species to change over time. However, the mechanism by which he believed this happened was radically different from Lamarck's or anyone else. Common descent. Darwin felt that all of the diversity of life on earth emerged out of the evolution from one or a few common ancestors. This theory took a step beyond Lamarck's observation that complex creatures probably involved some simpler ones. The third is gradualism. While Lamarck felt that species-wide change could take place within the span of a few generations, Darwin felt evolution was much slower process, taking place in innumerable small steps. The fourth one is population speciation. The version of Darwin's theory states that within a population, change in a species occurs as the balance of hereditary characteristics shifts across that population. The last one is the natural selection. is often called the most unique part of Darwin's theory that a given species might succeed or go extinct. But Darwin extended the understanding to change within a species. The process of natural selection. There are four processes of natural selection, and these are the variation, inheritance, high rate of population growth, and the differential survival and reproduction. The first one is the variation. Organisms within population exhibit individual variation in appearance and behavior. This variation may involve body size, hair color, facial markings, voice properties, or number of offspring. The second one is the inheritance. Some traits are constantly passed on from parent to offspring. Such traits are inheritable whereas the other traits are strongly influenced by environmental conditions and show weak heritability. High rate of population growth. Most populations have more offspring each year than local resources can support leading to a struggle for resources. And the last one is the differential survival and reproduction. Individuals possessing traits well suited for the struggle for local resources will contribute more offspring to the next generations. The picture above shows the natural selection. The first picture shows the inheritance. Parents pass heritable traits to their offspring. The second picture 
is how the natural selection work. The picture shows that some mice are eaten by birds, then the mice reproduce, giving next generation. The pictures illustrate the differential survival and reproduction. And that's the end of my topic, The Intellectual Revolution That Defined Society by Charles Darwin. I hope that you all understand about the Darwinian Revolution. Thank you and good day everyone.